Hello and welcome to this video on brief history of the evolution of cloud computing. If you are new to Azure, understanding the history of cloud computing can help you to appreciate its significance and how it has changed the way we use and manage technology today. Let's start with the earliest form of computing, which was the use of dedicated infra. In this model, every organization would have their own physical computing resources, including servers, storage devices, and networking equipment. This approach was expensive and required significant expertise to manage. So in the 1990s, the concept of data center emerged allowing organizations to centralize their computing resources in a secure, centralized location. This led to economy of scale, as data center could be optimized for power efficiency, cooling, and physical security. So this era of internet growth, where huge data center company became, came into a spotlight. And this started the data center services, data center outsourcing demand, shared hosting, coupled with application hosting and managed services, ISP, ASP, MSPs, etc. In the late of 2005, modular portable data center design concept came in. In the early 2000s, hardware virtualization technology emerged, allowing multiple virtual machines to run on a single physical server. This approach led to better utilization of hardware resources and reduced the need for dedicated infra. Virtualization also allowed for greater flexibility as virtual machine could be created, scaled and scaled down as needed. Around the same time, operating system virtualization technology emerged. This approach led to even greater efficiency as the overhead of running multiple operating system was eliminated. OS virtualization is also allowed for faster deployment of new applications and services. So in 1999, Salesforce.com started delivering the application to users using a simple website. The application was delivered to enterprise over the internet. And that was kind of first software as a service application. In 2002, Amazon started Amazon Web Services and they started providing services like storage, computation and even human intelligence after some time in 2006, they started Elastic Compute also in cloud, which was the starting journey of cloud computing. In the similar time, the term cloud computing was coined. In cloud computing took the advantage of all the previous technology, including data center, hardware virtualization, OS virtualization, to offer a new model for delivering computing resources. Cloud computing allowed organizations to access computing resources on demand and pay only what they used, which was a game changer. In 2009, Microsoft launched Windows Azure and then companies like Google, Oracle, HP all have joined this game. And today, if we see all these companies providing some sort of cloud computing. And Nowadays, cloud computing has become norm for businesses of all size. And Azure is one of the leading cloud providers. Azure provides a range of services, including infra as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. And Azure also provides tools and services for data analytics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. So if we see uh, this evolution of cloud computing, in the traditional on-premises IT world, you have to maintain everything, right? The organization has to maintain data center, network, physical servers, virtualization if they are using, operating system, databases, application and data. Similar to moving away, if we go to hosting related thing, then you have to maintain virtualization, operating system, database, application, and data. Physical server network storage and data center was being managed by hosting providers. Now, if you go to cloud computing as a infra as a service, if you are going to use it, then you have to maintain operating system, database, application, and data. For patching up operating system, you are responsible for security and other things. 
and cloud computing provider is going to be responsible for data center, network storage, physical servers and virtualization. If you are going to use any services which is pass based services, platform as a service, then you have to maintain only data and application, rest, database, the operating system, internet virtualization, physical server, network and storage, data center, all has to be managed by cloud provider. If you are using some services like software as a service, then you have to maintain your data only, right? Every application, still that application, they will provide that one. That's how this evolution of cloud computing had done. And this is what I wanted to cover in this basic video. I hope you will like this one. Thank you.